Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another love energy spread for you all. We're going to be looking at what's in your energy, what's in your person's energy, and the mutual energy between you both. Remember when I do these energy readings, they do run a bit long. So if you're new here, um, you know, they, they run a little bit longer. <laughs> Let's see what's going on Virgos. I hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy. One more for Virgo. Oh, they gave us two. <gasps> oh, Virgo, what happened? Let's see what's going on. Oh, Virgo, I'm scared. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what's going on. Oh my god oh my god Virgo what's going on what did I miss let me see so far they're kind of scaring me let's see what's going on for the mutual mutual Remember, this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, it's simply not your story. It's very important, y'all, when it's not your story, not to force it, okay? I swear, some of y'all cross-watchers curse me out in, the, in my email. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. I'm going to read this as you, Virgo. I'm going to read this as your person. Roles can always be reversed. Go ahead and flip it as need be. This will always be read as the mutual, okay? Who do I start with first? Okay, your person. Oh, I have the chill so bad, Virgo. Oh, I can't even concentrate. Okay. Oh, Virgo. Okay, let's see. They have Knight of Cups, Four of Cups, in Six of Cups in reverse, Ten of Wands, Page of Swords, The Magician, Two of Cups, and The Lovers. I may need to clarify you all. Let's see. If it runs super duper long, I'll break the video up into two, okay? Because I have a lot of stuff I want to share with you with the three decks. So, I feel like definitely, Virgo, this person has been um, very disappointing to you in the past. This person may, I'm going to clarify y'all because I'm getting heavy magic again. If you're dealing with a cancer, Go check out the cancer reading or if you have cancer in your chart because there was a lot of magic in that reading as well we have the knight of cups i feel like your person um is coming in your energy or there's someone in your energy if this is if this is not a past person and this is a new person there's someone coming your way there's someone coming your way, very confident, but yet very laid back, very comfortable. This person, okay. Okay, I feel like this is somebody um, from your past, okay? Because with the Knight of Cups, like it, they're coming towards you again with a cup of love, a cup and offer, an apology, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like, baby, I'm sorry, give me a chance. Or, hey, I like you, give me a chance. Whatever it may be, okay? They're dressed up. They're dressed up, but look at, they have no shoes on. So they're comfortable. It's like, yeah, I'm going to dress up, but I'm comfortable enough within myself that they'll take me back. I don't need to change all the way. You know what I mean? This person dressed up for the part, but they had no intention on walking the walk. Okay, they're barefoot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting Pisces. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Pisces. It's almost like this person is flip-floppy. 
like they change they change how they feel or they change how they see you or they change how they interact with you okay and therefore it's been very disappointing with this four of cups it's been very disappointing to you it's almost like this person just lets you down or disappointing or, or you just I feel like it's very disappointing because look at their like gossiping, right? Like she feels like, oh my gosh, you know, and everyone's like, uh, you know, forget that person. Very disappointing. Like you vent about this to your, to your, your friends. For some of you, 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 it's like their family, like the women in this person's family are like not even surprised that this person disappoints you. You know what I mean? Like it's, that's what they're known for. That's what that's how they're known they're like oh yeah you know they do this from time to time oh yeah this is how they are that's the way they are you know like they're very disappointing and people excuse not excuse their behavior but they don't justify it you know what i mean like it's just like oh that's the way they are we could have told you that you know what i mean like it's real weird um they've disappointed you before some of you are pregnant by this person they've disappointed you and you're starting to question now if you were even meant to be with this person. I think some of you are questioning, why did our paths cross? Why did my, my path cross this person's path? Like, why did I need to learn this lesson? I don't even know why I had to endure this. You know, I thought this was supposed to be my soulmate, someone for to make me happy, and they didn't. Instead, I get disappointed and embarrassed, and everybody, nobody warned me about it. You know? And I feel like with this person, this person feels like a disappointment on this side. This person feels like a disappointment to a lot of people. Like they feel like they let everybody down. They feel like they let you down. They feel like they're a disappointment to a lot of people around them. Like it's just that burden that they carry. But instead of trying to stand up and pick it all up and throw it out, throw away those burdens, walk away, let it down, they just sit there sulking in their negative and, and self-pity. Oh, you know, I messed up so many times. I'm used to it. This is who I am. I'm, I'm, I'm a screw up. You know, I can't do nothing right. But it's their self-wallowing and self-pity that makes them stay stuck there. You know what I mean? <laughs> This person is also very possessive. Like very, very possessive. Virgo, if you're trying to reject this person or you're trying to keep your distance or just kind of stray them away, I'm getting like this person won't allow you to do that. Like they always come back around when they feel they're losing you. You know what I mean? When when you're not paying them any attention and rejecting them, they come back around again. Hey, I'm here. And that's also becoming a burden for them as well. It's a burden to think that they're losing you completely because they think you don't want to be anything with them anymore. They think you don't want to reconcile. They think that you're over the disappointment. They're going to come blow a little smoke in your ear or air in your ear, you know what I mean? Like gas you up. Page of Swords talks about immature communication. They're going to they're gonna come blow, you know, gas you up, you know? Like, you're so pretty, you're so handsome, I loved you so much, you know? Just kind of tell you what you want to hear, but it's all smoke. Blowing smoke in your ear, that's immature communication, okay? It's not going to be honest, it's not going to be mature, it's going to be kind of sleazy. I don't know why I got that real sleazy, like... You're so sexy, you know, you're dope, or whatever it is, you know? They blow a lot of smoke just to get in. Just so they can elevate their position in your life. Look at how he's, he's riding a cloud. This person smokes a whole lot too. This person smokes a lot and they smell like smoke. I don't know why I got something about a go-kart like a go-kart or something somebody is like likes to ride a go-kart or like a side-by-side -side or a razor or something i'm getting more so a go-kart i don't know 
there's something here about that that's weird like riding a wave or riding a cloud this person feels like they're on cloud nine when they're with you but they're still very immature or this person likes to keep you high or has to stay high in order for you to like them or something <gasps> oh my god that's what it is that's what it is there's someone here that has to keep you high or they have to stay high or something like that in order to keep you happy like they have to keep you under the influence or or maybe they like feed you substances like you know if, if they come around like if it's and forgive me i don't know what i'm allowed to say or not allowed to say but like if they're like the weed man or something they use that to their advantage or or they feed you alcohol or or bring you food there's something about using like they gas they gaslight you they gas you up like it's it's like gaslighting like oh you know i'm gonna bring them this but i'm still not gonna change you know it's just to get me back in the door for a lot of you i feel like this person has to keep you high or or has to like someone cannot be sober like virgo like you can't be sober around this person because you don't like this person because you're like ugh, no i don't want this person but when they come around and they get you like stoned or, or high or drunk or they feed you or something like that that's their way of gassing you up this is ulterior motives ill intentions the magician and why the magician the two of cups it's too much of a burden for them they don't know how to be themselves they try to be what you they want you to be what, what you want them to be like they try to be what you think what what they think you want them to be so they do what they have to do you know oh i'm gonna bring my virgo a little bit of drink i'm gonna bring my virgo something to smoke or i want to bring my virgo dinner every single day or breakfast every single day or coffee every other day or something you know they they use things to try and manipulate their way into your heart into a relationship because they know you'd rather be free but they think hey if i can blow enough smoke in virgo's ear or in their face or keep them under the influence enough to think that at least i'm useful or or they want to be with me then they'll be with me in this two of cups they'll be with me in this relationship and i'll be happy in virgo although they may want something more they know that i'll take care of them so they're going to stay put Ew, that's so weird. For some of you, this can also mean magic. This can also mean a love spell. So be careful with that. Oh, you know, remember I said like that, like, like they manipulate into the relationship, right? Manipulate their way into a relationship. He has a drink. For some of you, this is magic. Some of you, they're very immature and they do do magic to keep you in, in a relationship, even though you don't want to be there. So just be careful with that, okay? And that's weird that they wanted this deck for you because the mythic deck always reminds me of magic. I don't know why. And they only want me to use this deck when magic shows up. Underneath the deck, they have the lovers. It's almost as if, like, there's too many lovers, you know what I mean? It's almost like they want you put. They want you put that way you can't be with other lovers, you know what I mean? Like they tempt like you know the adam and eve apple thing like he's holding an apple and she's holding the cup over here that he has and she looks a little out of it huh like look at time has gone by her hair is real up and pretty here and now it's a different dress it's different hair it's longer this has been going on for quite some time it's been going on for a long time it looks like she's younger in this picture and then she's older in this picture. It's almost as if like this person tempts you, like they give you your whatever you're looking for. And remember I said there's something here about substance abuse, like, oh, are you looking for for drink? I have it here. Come here. You know, and they take that that need or or that thing that you want to their advantage and say oh you know if i keep providing my virgo the things they want the things they need they'll eventually end up we'll eventually end up together we'll be together you know they, they'll like me look at they'll stay they'll see that there's nothing or no one better out there for them they'll like me but you don't like them virgo with the three of swords 
like I think you're still involved in another relationship or connection here or a new one right and you're just like this is not even I don't even want you what are you doing here I don't even want you you know I feel like that's what it is That's crazy because it's this guy. This guy, this this person, whoever does this to you gets heartbroken knowing that you don't want them or you may be in another connection or a new connection, Virgo. <laughs> or this person has been hurt before by someone in, in their past and they don't want to feel that again. So that's why they try to make it to where it's a sure thing. Like their person, meaning you, Virgo, it for sure is going to stay with them and stick with them. You know what I mean? That's weird. Um, this is strange. In your energy, Virgo, you have Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, Seven of Cups in reverse, Knight of Swords in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, Seven of Swords, and the Three of Cups. We. You're working on yourself, Virgo. You're looking good as always you know you guys have been in this energy for a while already this nine of pentacles working on your money working on your finances living that life that single life your rewards are about your rewards are about to hit and you're being independent like you're not hiding from no one but at the same time you're like kind of low-key you know what i mean like you're being low-key i almost said low-key bougie i don't know why like like you're still on your game you're still getting ready you're always looking good but you don't post a picture every day or something like that you know what i mean like you're low-key bougie you're enjoying yourself you're enjoying yourself your self-love and your happiness i think there's somebody new in your energy or you you're dealing with someone in your energy currently kind of like a crush you know early stage crush but you're just kind of going with the flow. You're not real serious about anything in love-wise. You know, you're kind of just playing the field, playing in the field, looking good and playing in the field, right? Whatever happens, happens. If someone comes along, I think some of y'all are dating. Some of y'all are going on dates. Some of y'all are, you know, talking to new people, talking to old people. Mercury retrograde is that early stage, you know, that pre-shadow period. We're in it, so exes are coming back old past traumas are going to be rehashed um and i think that you're really in your power like you're just trying to enjoy life right now life is kind of starting to feel a little bit normal again back to normal you know so you're enjoying that and you're taking advantage of that you're going outside you're doing stuff to make you happy like that sun in your face like revived you you know what i mean um i think that maybe at one point you were a player or playerette virgo but or you like to keep your options open, but I think you're out of that already. Like maybe you were going on a few dates or you were juggling a few men, juggling a few women, and I think you're kind of over that stage. You're like sick of it. Like it's it got old. I let you know I I'm all about happiness and, and meeting new people, but I think you I think that got old. I think that got old real quick to you. You know, Virgos don't like um what is it? Uh, meaningless connections and that's why you're kind of slowing down here with that knight of swords you're kind of slowing down here like all right i did a little bit of dirt i dug it up you know it's buried now what i i got old i don't like playing those little games i don't want to do that you know what i mean and for some of y'all Or for some of you all, you guys are coming out of I think honestly you're parting ways with player or player at energy. For a lot of you, this person thinks you're a player or a player at really bad. Like they always think you're cheating. They always think you're entertaining other people. They always think you're out and about with other people. Like you can't be away from this person for like an hour because they think you're out cheating or something. Um, I 
I think you've hurt this person before. This person feels like you've stabbed them in the back before. That's why they constantly feel like you are. Okay. For some of you, some of you do want to cut out the player, playerette, stop playing the field and work on things with this person, but it's hard for you because this person accuses you a whole lot of cheating or third parties or brings up old third parties or brings up something in the past, okay? In which is the reason why you guys split up prior to begin with or just didn't make it work to begin with, okay? Because this person is also slowing down, pursuing you. They're, they're kind of at a halt here, okay? Or you, or you made them stop. You keep them at a distance now, okay? With that hierophant, it's like you've told them, I don't want a higher level of commitment with you. Like, how many times do I have to tell you? That's why this person keeps trying and trying. When you've told them, I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm not looking to be brought back to life, brought back into that world where I have to be committed. Like, no, you know? And I also feel like you may be getting over a past third party situation with that seven of swords and that three of cups here. Okay, this tells me there was definitely a past third party situation. Or maybe it's you, Virgo. Maybe you feel like this person has third party still. Maybe you feel like this person can't be faithful in a commitment and that's why you're kind of doing your own thing. Or maybe that's how this person feels about you. They feel like you can't be loyal to them in a commitment, much less um, a higher level such as a marriage or something like that. Because you're out just wanting to have fun and do you and focus on yourself. Let me see. What is that seven of swords? Ten of cups. They, th oh. King of Pentacles. What is that Three of Cups? Is that how Virgo's person sees Virgo? All right, Virgo, it's you. <gasps> they think you are very much so addicted to intimacy or physical touch. Like you really enjoy that. Your twin flames. This is your twin flame. Look at that fireplace. I've never seen that. There's two people in the fire, in the flames. Twin flame connection. For those of you that don't know what a twin flame connection is, check out my podcast because I just uploaded that episode. It should be up pretty soon. Um, and it'll give you more explanation on what a twin flame is and that, that specific journey and how horrible it is sometimes, most of the time. But this person feels like all you care about is sex or intimacy or, or there's something about they feel, oh that's what it is they feel like you don't enjoy intimacy with them that's why you're out and about <laughs> oh that's what it is okay yeah they feel like you don't enjoy intimacy with them anymore and they always think you're cheating because they feel like they don't satisfy you they feel like they can't satisfy you in the bedroom and that you feel like you don't well why am i going to be with someone that can't even satisfy me in that way <laughs> I'm left still w waiting or wanting more that this person can't give me. That's why this person gets up and, and is ready to run because they're a little bit intimidated that they can't satisfy you in that way. So they try to compensate for it in other ways. You know what I mean? They feel also that you're telling people what a disappointment they are in the bedroom or just in general, like how, how they can't satisfy you like in any way. They feel like you tell everybody. But this is how they see you, Virgo. They feel like they're kind of having to slow down take a break because they feel you can't be committed in a relationship they feel like it's always you who gives into temptation and, and wants to be out on the scene and if you, like they feel like you need to impress your friends or to impress people who look at your life you know like you're gonna do what you have to do for clout that and i'm not saying that that's how they're saying it okay they feel like you do things for clout or for um validation Underneath your deck, you have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I don't think you're wanting to start a family here. I think you're cutting off that idea of, of being in this committed family situation here. But I'm not sure if this person is going to let you just up and get up from it, you know, with this hanged man. Like this person's still stuck wishing and hoping, hey, you know, when is Virgo going to come around? 
when is my Virgo going to cut this out and, and just be committed and settle down? You know what I mean? And remember, roles can always be reversed. It cannot always be vice versa. But this person definitely thinks that you're a player or that you want to just play the field. And I think that you you may be doing just that, Virgo. However, at the same time, you're not just giving these meaningless uh, connections that you find any of your time or energy. You know, you're just kind of going with the flow. I feel like I keep getting that, like your sun, the sun on your face brought you back to life. Like almost like life is starting to feel a little bit back to normal, you know? In the mutual energy, we have The Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Swords. <gasps> Ooh, followed by Eight of Cups and the Knight of Chalices. <laughs> you both are going to have a discussion, okay? Remember, we're going into that eclipse, y'all. So the eclipse is all about literally eclipsing people and things, situations, cycles oh, out of your life. And look at this. They wanted me to use this for the mutual. And this is darker. The eclipse, right? The eclipse covers you. Four of Pentacles is all about releasing. Ace of Swords, new communication, new conversations to be had. There's going to be a talk about either releasing this connection altogether or just letting go of the toxic mindset that each of you have towards the other. Like you guys have been holding on to this so tight or you guys have been holding back from letting, from saying what you want to say or, or communicating what you want to express to the other. However, you're not going to bite your tongue anymore. It's like that you have a book of things that you want to express to this person and they want to express to you, but you guys don't say it. You hold it in and it's going to be held in so tight that it's just going to be blurted out like crazy. Look at all the dust. It's like an explosion. All the dust is going to come up. Bringing up the past dirt. <gasps> Instead of talking about it and working things through, like that past dirt that was done here to each side, it's like been held in. And it's been held in for too long that it's going to explode and all of it's going to come back up. Look at these torn pages, these broken pages. They're just going to be ripped out and blurted out. Okay, there's going to be a conversation coming. Remember, Mercury retrograde is coming also. So that is past wounds, past traumas, old flings, old exes. Everything gets brought back to life. The Eight of Chalices and the Knight of Chalices. Someone's going to try and work it out and the other one is going to say, I think it's you, Virgo. I think Virgo is going to, I think this person's going to say, I love you. Can we make this work? I want to try at all costs to make this work. Here's my cup of love. You know, I'm sorry. Will you accept it? And Virgo, I think you're going to be like, what's done is done. I'm not happy. No, thank you. I've already told you I am unhappy. I don't like you that way or whatever it may be, you know. I feel like there's going to be a conversation that has to be had. And I think there's going to be two on the opposite side of the spectrum. One person really wants to try harder, do whatever they have to do. While Virgo, you're like, I just want to be happy and this ain't it, you know. I'm doing my own thing. I've already told you. How else can I explain that to you? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm getting. Underneath the deck for the mutual, we have Eight of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> you don't even believe that this person's really working at them, working at it. You don't think that this you think you think this person could be working harder at either apologizing or fixing this connection or whatever it is you know you think that they could be working a little bit harder you're not putting in the work because you're like they should be putting in the work to try for me you know and they should be trying a lot harder than what they are if they really want to win me back you know they need to work on that shadow self of theirs and if they want to win me back and they're not working at that yeah followed by the seven of swords yeah because that deception is still there when the time comes it's going to come back like this it's not going to change until they change their shadows you know what i mean they fix their shadow self 
and I feel like a lot of you Virgos feel like this person is sleeping on that shadow self and it's still buried in there and as soon as they wake up it's going to take over. As soon as you wake up from this dream that they're, they're trying to give you, these illusions that they're giving you, it's going to be there. You know what I mean? And it's going to take over again. And the cycle just stays there with that strength in reverse. The and, and you feel like it's so they can win you over, but yet there's still a monster. You know, there's still a beast. And that's how you feel. You feel like, okay, until you work on that shadow self and put in that work, there's no way it's going to work. Look at what's underneath that judgment underneath in reverse it will not work because it's going to come back it's going to explode you need to work on yourself and transform in order to release that deception if you want to win me back or win me over at least if this is a new connection you know Ooh, virgo Whew. i'm out of breath okay if this message is resonating let me know in the comments below if um you haven't already please like and subscribe subscribe to the channel i would greatly 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 appreciate it i am no longer taking personal readings so if you do need a reading at the moment um you can always look underneath the description or in the comments i'll leave it in the comments my keen sponsorship is also there they provide um readings immediately okay so immediate answers readings clarity for those of you that need that at the moment so you can always go there until i get back and running again and catch up my Instagram is below if you want to follow me on a personal level, as well as my where to leave donations. They're always welcome and very much so appreciated. I have my Amazon wish list as well as my Cash App and my PayPal. Um, my merch and my podcast, everything is in the description below. Let's see. Give me one for a Virgo's person. There we go. Okay. My love messages, my soul com so these are my love messages cards. Here's my soul confessions. Those are my personal decks that I was able to create. I have a new one that I'm going to uh, show you all here in just a few minutes, okay? So for you, for the love messages, Virgo, we have can we start over? So like I said, this person's trying to start over. Uh, remember Mercury Retrograde, it's all about either releasing the, peop the person in general or the connection or releasing the cycles and behaviors that come with the trauma behind this. So it could be that this person is like, okay, can we start over? Or it could be that you really just want to start over with something new, Virgo. Clar <sighs> yep, clarifying the mutual. Work, work, work. It's a whole lot of work on your guys' end. It has to be a lot of teamwork, working together, trying to fix this if it's going to be fixed, you know? There, it has to come from both people. Clarifying your person, I talk to people about you. I talk to people about you. They talk about you to a lot of people. What did I say? Look at that four cups. They also think that you talk about them to a lot of people. They feel like you're telling people how, what a disappointment they are to you. And underneath that, sharp tongue. They think you talk bad about them to people. That's what it is. They think that you talk bad about them to people. Give me some soul confessions. I wish you would just open up to me so y'all okay i think you guys are, i think virgo you may not really Ooh, <gasps> do i take that one or no no okay um oh that one was just said i just need time for myself right now but it kind of just fell out of my hand i wasn't shuffling so i wish you would just open up to me virgo i feel like you don't really express to this person how you feel you don't express if you're happy. You don't express if you're unhappy. You don't give them any sort of validation or anything like that. And they just wish that you would communicate a little bit better to them what you want, what you expect, your what you expect out of this situation, you know? Um, and like I said, that conversation's coming. And what did I say? You guys have not expressed this to each other. Everything you want to say to each other, you guys hold it in until it explodes. And then it becomes something much bigger into a tower moment. This is so toxic in the middle, the mutual, okay? This is a toxic situation. At least it's been a little bit unhealthy for the both of you on both ends, okay? Clarify Virgo's person. 
I pray something will bring us back together. So if you guys have been feeling a little bit off or the connection isn't as strong as it once was, that's why. This person is hoping you guys can go back to normal. Can we start over? Can we start how when it first felt like that magical butterfly feeling, that little crush, you know, that honeymoon phase. Can we go back to that? I pray something will bring us back together in that way underneath the deck again i just need time for myself right now i think that's the both of you kind of doing some self-reflection on this situation okay um okay y'all so these are my moon messages i'm so excited i hope you guys love them i put a lot of work into them virgo empress moon messages they're in my etsy shop as well as uh, below in the description you can purchase directly from the vendor and as soon as they're printed off the press they'll be sent to your home so let's see, let's get some messages for Virgo using the new moon messages. Uh, do I take them? They're telling me not to take them, but I'm going to show y'all. Close and lock the door. I fall apart. Empty bottle and cruel ice box. <gasps> okay, Virgo, so close and lock the door. So I think like, I think this person feels like you're playing with them. You know what I mean? Like you keep them around, but you don't want them around. Like you have them as like a pet and, and close and lock the door. It's almost like if you're going to leave, actually close and lock the door. Don't go back. Don't come back. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's how that person is feeling towards you. Like if you want to leave, then, then leave. Don't, don't come in and out. Lock the door behind you. You know what I mean? Ooh. Or I feel like that's you, Virgo. That's you telling this person close and lock the door because I've already told you I don't feel that way, you know? We have I fall apart. This person, I feel, gets very weak when it comes to you. And I feel like you've been weak for this person as well. I feel like you, this person has made you very weak in the past by what they've done. We have empty bottle and then we have cruel slash icebox. So for some of you, this person is a drinker, okay? For some of you, this person is a drinker or maybe you're out just having a good time Virgo you know popping bottles or for some of you empty bottle can literally mean like an empty cup of love it's ran out you have no more love for this person it's an empty cup it's an empty bottle therefore you don't give this person the validation that they're seeking because you don't have any to give and they feel like you're a little bit heartless the ice box they feel like you have that ice box where your heart is what is that song by Omarion? Icebox. Icebox, right? That's what it's called. Icebox by Omarion. I got this icebox where my heart used to be. They feel like you, you don't love them anymore. And that love you once had turned very, very cold. And it breaks them. It breaks them to where sometimes they want to just leave the situation or they want you to, to walk away from the situation if you don't feel that way no more, you know? But they'll never tell you that because you both keep in your emotions and your what you want to express to each other oh clarifying the mutual we have forgiveness if this if this is something that y'all want is toxic yes but it's going to require a whole lot of work on both ends as well as a whole lot of forgiveness here okay oh that's so crazy <gasps> underneath the deck we have revenge so just be careful y'all why would there be Oh, that's why. Because you guys possibly break each other's hearts as a form of fighting. That's why. It's like revenge hookups. You know what I mean? Like if someone was a player, the other person found out and they went and started being a player or playerette. You know what I mean? So in order for all that revenge that took place in the past, now we have forgiveness. So there's going to be a lot of forgiveness that needs to be. Because like underneath revenge, we have lust. And that's what I feel. Underneath that, we have snake. So I feel like there was a lot of hookups that were done out of revenge or out of spite here, okay? Those third parties that were created, it was done out of spite, whether on your end or this person's end, okay? So there is going to be a lot of forgiveness that needs to happen in the mutual energy if you so choose to continue with this path. Clarifying your person. Ooh, they have the red moon. Red moon. Celebrate new life and change for the better. Be optimistic and open to the opportunities as they come your way. This person wants a new life with you. They're, they want a new life with you. I feel like this person's getting like the urge to get up and change their life around. 
Ooh, look at, I will stop at nothing underneath the deck, followed by growth. This person, you're making this person, I think, kind of grow up, Virgo, because it's like a new life. I will stop at nothing. If they'll stop at nothing to be your person, you know what I mean? Then they're going to have to get up and change and fix their life around and, and grow. Virgo, I, I know Virgos love comfortability and stability and, and change kind of freaks them out, but Virgos love growth. Virgos have to constantly be stimulated and they need their partner to be just as willing to grow and, and stimulate them as well. You know what I mean? <gasps> Look at underneath that new love. Some of y'all are going to either break this apart and find new love, but some of you all are actually going to forgive each other, work on a new life and work on growing a new love between the both of you, okay? It's going to be a brand new love and a brand new connection. For some of you, there's really a new love, okay? Ooh, I'm going to get you a dream card really quick. I got these from one of my subs. I believe her name is Charmaine. Thank you so very much. I love these cards, y'all. They're the dream cards. So I'm going to get you, I'm going to get one for you and one for your person. I love these cards so much. And I thank every single subscriber that has sent me a deck because they always usually end up becoming my favorite. Um... Let me see. I am going to be doing another giveaway, y'all. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway for a free love reading. I'm going to do a giveaway for my bracelets. I'm going to do a giveaway for the new moon messages cards. And then I'm also going to be giving away another tarot deck. Um, I've been trying to do that giveaway for a while. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you want to be entered into the giveaway, just comment. Um, I don't know. Let's comment. Leave some hearts in the comment section if you want to be entered, okay? In any of my readings or even on my Instagram, comment some hearts or comment. Oh. Yeah, let's do hearts. If you want to be entered in any of those giveaways, just comment some hearts underneath any of my videos or comment under my pictures in my Instagram and you'll be entered, okay? The winner will be contacted uh, via comment on YouTube or via DM on Instagram, so... Let's go ahead with the dream cards for you, Virgo. We have don't chase your dream. Learn to appreciate the present moment. When your dreams do come true, you will have learned to enjoy the moment instead of reaching for the next dream instead. Teach your mind to rest in the moment. Oh my goodness, and I am so guilty of this. I needed to see this today, Virgos. I'm so glad. Um, but for those of you, if you're like me, because I'm a Virgo, I'm like a Virgo stellium, like somewhere, you know? Um, uh, I have Virgo, I think, three or four times in my chart. So don't get caught up. Like, it's just saying, and I think this was in your last reading, enjoy the present moment. Enjoy the present moment. Everything you worked for, you're living in it. You know what I mean? And as Virgos, we're constantly, what else can I do? What else do I need to do? What else needs to be done? You know, I'm, I'm like that, which is why I can't catch up on anything because I have like a billion things going on at once. But is more or so telling you enjoy the present moment you know what i mean i saw this thing and some of y'all may some of y'all may like it i saw this thing and it said dating became easier when they stopped looking for red flags you know enjoy the date enjoy the present moment enjoy the experience with the person until a red flag in um presents itself then you can gracefully leave the person and I think that's what it is. Enjoy the present moment instead of thinking about the past, thinking about what if they betray me, what if this happens in the future. Enjoy the present moment is what it's saying, okay? Let your, give your mind a rest, especially right now with the retrogrades and the two eclipses and then the blood moon coming and then um, something else is coming. I, I'm just all over the place right now <laughs> for your person. Let bygones speak bygones. The future can be very different from your past. Give life the opportunity to offer new experiences to you. Don't let your beliefs from your past stand in the way of a bright future. So like I said, this person is holding grudges as well. Neither of you are telling each other what, what's hurting each other, what's hurting you guys, what's going on in this connection. And this person holds a lot of resentment towards you. And like I said, they always think that you're cheating on them because of something that happened in the past here. Ooh, I don't know, Virgos. But if this is resonating, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to leave it here. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the cards. Let me know if you like the cards in the comments below. Um, 
I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you all so much. I thank you so much, and I will talk to you soon.